good morning. I am about 55, 56 hours post my egg retrieval. Um, if you're not following me on TikTok, you don't know how large my stomach is, but I'm about to show you. So, I'm at high risk for OHSS. So, that is ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome. So when you go through an egg retrieval, you do get ovarian hyperstimulation. That's the whole point, is to overstimulate your ovaries to get as many follicles as possible that can turn into many as mature eggs as possible that give you the most mature, fertilized blasts and then embryos. And then hopefully if you do PGT testing, PGT normal embryos. Um, so you can get something called OHSS and I was at high risk for that because I had so many follicles. When I first started stems, I was at 57 follicles. Um, very common with women for PCOS. Then grab a blanket, baby. You know where blankets are. So it wasn't very abnormal for me. Then go put a blanket on your towel, baby. You could still have your towel on. Um, what was I saying? So you could be super bloated with I don't even remember what I was saying, guys, because Lily is telling me she's cold from taking a shower. Um, so you get OHSS over, let me just repeat what I'm saying. So you get OHS, which is ovarian hyperstimulation, which is the whole point of egg retrieval protocol, is to overstimulate your ovaries to get as many follicles to produce mature eggs that can be fertilized last and live and grow until blastocytes then they can be frozen and either or they can be frozen and sent for pgt testing they can be frozen until you're ready to transfer or you can do a fresh transfer so you have lots of different options there may be more options besides that no we're not gonna have your piggy bank right now baby no we're not gonna play with coins no lilia we're not gonna no we're not playing with that mommy's about to clean all that up that's what she's doing right now no um baby please go i know you have big emo i can't hold you baby remember mommy had surgery mommy can't hold you until the blow goes away mommy is very sorry but she cannot hold you right now you're not playing with your piggy bank so after your egg retrieval you can be at risk for something called ohss which is ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome and that's just where your body retains a bunch of water weight bloating um and it can be it can be very serious now they've had a lot of modern day medications and protocols that kind of help to eliminate the severity of it um which is why they monitor you so often when you're doing your egg retrieval protocol but i definitely have this syndrome um so i'm hoping by the end of this weekend it goes down slightly but i've seen women who suffer from it for like a month i'm gonna call my clinic on monday and kind of let them know what's going on if it's still super bad and kind of find out what steps i need to take or what i need to be doing because i have like a form but it obviously doesn't give me like a bunch of details it tells me like what's normal when to call a nurse and when to go to the er but i don't feel like i'm at an er point so i feel like i'm not even at the call the nurse point because i'm still they said seven to ten days for recovery so i mean like i'm still very fresh out of my egg retrieval but i feel like i need to do something because my house is or the rv is in shambles and one thing that i really need to do is organize Lilia's bedroom we don't plan on being in this RV for very much longer just the pro like just trying to find a house that we want to live in is being it's been very hard here um the market is pretty hard because a lot of the communities are 55 and older and of course there are houses out there that are not in those communities but they either don't have enough space they're not um worth the money for us like if we're going to spend three thousand dollars a month in rent like you might as well have like a house is up to date like i don't want yellow walls old lighting old bathrooms like i want like up to date and that's like very 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 hard to find um and the rv is of course a cheaper option for us as we can like kind of save money but i was going to do like this whole thing with lilia's room if you guys remember like i was going to build her stairs and make this like her oasis but uh we all have no desire to stay in this rv like my like lilia doesn't like it the dogs don't like it. I don't like it. Mauricio doesn't like it. And I do want to fix up this RV to make it rentable for Airbnb. But I don't want to do it while I'm living in the RV. Like, what we have right now is just 
doable. I'm not gonna say that it's working per se. Obviously it's doable. Mm. Everyone has a bed, everyone has their own space when needed. Um, safe, house overhead, AC, mm. food. You know, we have all the basic necessities, but it's also really hard to do things in here. I love you. I love you. Are you doing a heart? Yeah. It's very limited space in here. Um, and since we didn't do it when we weren't staying in the RV, then it just wasn't worth it to us. I kind of do wish I never even ripped out this bed and I would have just left it there, but that's old Amanda's decision and I just have to kind of deal with it. Um, we also have Mauricio is applying for the FAA and that is a long process. Um, and we're hoping that we find out where he could possibly go to work because it works very similar to the military where they tell you where to go. We're hoping for Florida, but you never know. Um, Anyways, I need to organize this. The first thing I need to do is put all the baby stuff items that I have and put them in a tote that I just bought because I just bought a tote for all the baby items because I just have them in this diaper bag, Mauricio's old diaper bag, and they're just not working anymore. Let me show you. So like here's Leah's pajamas, a bunch of random stuff up there. This is the bag. That's the car seat. She doesn't even like that anymore, so I may, I may, it might, it may find its way to the Goodwill. That's going for her room um, in our house eventually. Um, honestly, I might even put it up here today because I need to get rid of some of the stuff here. But I was gonna get a storage unit here, like a small one to put all this stuff in just to get it out of the RV. Like $100 a month for five feet by five feet. That's me laying down this way and laying down this way. Like what is that? $100? Okay. Anyways, let's put all this baby stuff away. I still can't get over that those storage units were $100. And those were non-climate controlled ones too. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No way, Jose. That was like half a sip, baby. You can have more than two sips of mommy's water. You can only have two sips of her coffee. <laughs> I had all this folded in here neatly and then I went looking Daddy. for it for our egg Daddy. retrieval Daddy. results video and now it's just going to get shoved in here. box of like winter clothes from Lilia. Some of this might fit her next year, but I'm just gonna dump it in this box as well because I'm sure I'll go through this box before winter comes and on my label I'll just put like baby clothes and Lilia's winter clothes that may or may not fit next winter. books that I got her I thrifted these and they're like in perfect condition so I picked those up for her whenever wow. I was thrifting 
love. I also have these shoes in here. I don't think these slippers fit her anymore. These boots don't fit her anymore. Like these shoes probably just won't fit her anymore. So I think I'm just gonna keep them in here though. I'm just gonna keep all her shoes in here. Cause it's easier. This one doesn't have a match though, so. She doesn't wear tennis shoes very often. She loves her Crocs, so. She just brought me her Crocs. Like, mommy, what this is? Yeah, that's Yoshi. Oh, I want a Yoshi. Mm. Hey, a See? You okay? I see you. She literally brought me her Crocs. Oh, <laughs> Here is what it looks like now. That's like all I can show you because Lily is right there, but it's definitely not perfect, but it will do. Um, and it just got everything kind of, it kind of just got everything kind of organized, not really, but it looks better. So that's all we're gonna do right now because I don't wanna overdo it with my bloat and then make it worse. So I'm going to just chill out a little bit and we'll see how I feel. I did feed my sourdough starter, so that's cool. We're gonna watch that today, I love doing that. Um, but yeah, I'm sweating, so I need to chill. Good evening from Epcot. We're in Epcot today. It's actually 5 p.m. we just got here because it's just so hot in Florida, but we spent the morning watching Star Wars movies, just hanging out, chilling. We went to this really cool sushi bar before we got here so that we had something nice to eat before we got to the park. Um, and now we're at Epcot where we're just gonna hang out, see if we can make it to fireworks. That's the goal is to see the fireworks today, but we'll see if we make it, all three of us. Sometimes we tap out, so. I guess time will tell. Baby, you've ridden this ride before. You fell asleep on this ride. You fell, on a, you fell asleep on this ride the first time you rode it. Here we go. What the hell? Your time machine will slowly rotate back and may stop momentarily. When you're safe, remain seated. Remember this one? During your slow moving journey, your time machine is not scary. Welcome aboard. Mommy's holding you.